My mama was a waitress. My daddy a truck driver. I've been basically begging her for years to let me make this record. I wanted to make something that was, to me, what the essence of Farron was. I wanted uh, to make a record that felt like sitting next to her on her porch. And so I went to her porch. <laughs> <laughs> and they walk along the river And the rain a coming down And a girl on a road It was a moment in time, you know? And that is what a recording is. Right. It's, you know, part of what my job as a producer, A, was to convince her to let me record her because she was very my cantankerous. <laughs> resistant to the project and so that was why it was a little you know it was just like throw up the mic and get it as soon as she's ready because she wasn't into the waiting around and all of that you know for us to get it absolutely perfect and in a way i feel well, like what that, would that be exactly i mean that's because the thing you're saying it's like you do it now and we're going to do it again in 10 minutes and it's going to be different right but it's still going to be okay right no. And like we all knew, me and my band all knew what a precious thing we were doing and that what we were capturing, um, especially in that first time that we came to your house. Precious in a way, but then on the flip side, you can't treat it so precious because it'll put too much pressure on the situation, you know? I feel like her performances, her vocal performances were amazing on the record. Well, it was amazing. just one take. Just yeah, one, they were mostly one, one take. One take in, in the morning, which I don't normally sing, but it was kind of like that's when you caught me off guard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I, am, I am not awake enough to fight you. <laughs> yes. Here's what it's like for me. I want it to turn beautiful and serve eternity and never follow money. Or love with greasy hands Or move the earth in waters Just to make it fit my plans My eyes would be the harbor My words the perfect place For a girl on a road You know, I can remember, uh, and, and it's a promise that I broke to myself, of course, which was that there would never be any photographs of me. Of course, you're experiencing that right now. Um, you know, the only person who has photos is you normally Gail. I never bothered, I never cared, and I didn't want... In fact, up until a certain point, I never wrote a song down. I mean, there are many songs that I don't have anymore, because when I forgot them, I felt that they were gone. You know, well, they were gone, and I felt that was okay. Right. And now, how do you feel about it? Um, I, I'm saying that this thing that you keep saying I was resistant or I was this or I was that, it's the same thing again. It's like deciding that something is so precious that you have to save it. Right. You know, and, and, and how are you going to make that decision? Is it this morning? Is it this afternoon's version? Is it that version? Is one more successful? Is one, like, like what, what is it? And so, right. so eventually what happened was we got what we got because that was all we could get. Right. And, that, and, and to me, that feels very real. There are no many takes of a song. Right. Because there wasn't anybody that we were shaping the song for. Maybe you were, I wasn't. Right. And I needed that feeling because the other feels... Uh, Too manufactured. Yeah, it right. doesn't feel real. What I saw as my job as producer, I could see the side of Farron that was, you know, kind of who cares. You know, with Girl on a Road, I remember her saying, I wrote this song 30 years ago, it's not relevant anymore. And so my job as a producer was seeing how relevant it was and knowing that I wanted, you know, my peers to be able to experience her music. So in a way, I just felt like I was, one of my jobs was not listening to her so much, you know, as far as, you know, trying to stop the thing. But also, you know, listening on another level as far as the being sensitive to what she needed in order to sing those one takes. It must have been difficult for you because there's a part of me that's like, well, this, this whole part of my life is over and I don't really feel like opening it up again. And right. on the other hand, the reason that it opened up is because you said that you wanted your peers and onward and onward to, to hear the songs that left to my own bad habits would have closed for a girl 